I'm gonna let y'all say hi to Milo. I'm gonna say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. You're doing too much. You've been very, very hyper. Hey, everybody. This is what we're doing to learn how to do the sublimation DTF hack. Hey, hey, Mary and Mylene and Renee and Precious Pieces and Meredith and Diane and Porgy and Jesse and Louise and Terry and Shrita and Lil Kiki and Gail. Hey, everybody. This is what we're doing. Say hi to Milo right quick so we can get started. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Uju. Hey, Kay. Hey. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. The most. Hi, Remy. Welcome. Hey, Milo. D said hi. D said hey to Milo. D said hey to Milo. You need to say hi to the people? Say hi to the people. Hi, Nicole. Hey, Mary Hammonds and Sonnet. Hey, Sonnet. Hey, Marta. Okay, now you gotta calm down so I can talk to the people. Hey, hey, Donald. Hey, Denise. Okay, let's we gotta talk to the people. Or if you don't stop, I'm gonna tell them what you did. Hey, Philip. Hey, Patrice D. We meet again. Hey, first time commenting. Hello. Okay, so um. He is doing the most. Hey, Kawanda. You doing the most? Are you doing the most? He doing the most. What? Welcome, Judith. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Know what we're getting ready to do, right? Logo one. Go ahead and type it in. Logo one. Logo one. Let's do a giveaway. Let's start with the giveaway. Start with the giveaway. Start with the giveaway. A giveaway. A giveaway. A giveaway. A giveaway. Logo one. Logo one. Type that in. All lowercase. Logo one. No space. Logo one. Logo one. Logo one. It will look like this. I enjoy crafting with Delanda. Logo one. Logo one. Logo one like that. Logo one. You got to calm down. Do you want to treat you? You got to calm down. Sit. Sit. Stop. All righty. Five, four, three, two, one. Latanya X. Latanya X, the logo looks like this. It comes in the mail with instructions and parchment paper. Let's do another one. Logo two. Logo two. Logo two. Congratulations to Latanya X. Let's do another one. Logo two. Logo two. Like that. Logo two. Logo two. Like that. Calm down. Logo two. And while we're doing this, I will be giving your sponsor a treat. Logo two, logo two. Logo two. All right, five. Four, three, two, one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Carol Chapman. Okay, so we got Latanya X and Carol Chapman. Congratulations to both of you. 
we'll do another giveaway later on during the live. All right. Um, let me stop sharing. Now, uh, will somebody please type in that the giveaway is over? The giveaway has ended. Giveaway is over. Y'all have already said hi to Milo. I've already shown you the goal. Let me say this. Um, if you won a logo, let me tell you what you have to do. Please pay attention. Please pay attention. Please pay attention. If you won a logo, all you do is email me at Crafting with Delanda at gmail.com. Crafting with Delanda at gmail.com and send me your mailing address and I will send it out to you. Okay. Crafting with Delanda at gmail.com. Don't message me on Instagram. Don't message me on Facebook, TikTok, X, Pinterest, anywhere else. Only in my email. Just send your uh, mailing address. Okay. All right, crafting with Delanda at gmail.com. All right, before we get into the tutorial, I have to share some information with y'all that I found out today. And um, I want to make sure that you know you're in the right place. Um, normally, we start on time over here. You got to get, I start right on time over here. Okay, that's why when, as soon as I start, I start with the giveaway. So let me show you something really quickly. Um, what I noticed today, let me go to it and show it to you. Thank you all very much for being here. I'm very excited about this, but let me share this with you right now. Let's go to present. Share screen. Okay. So on my community, let me make this bigger so y'all can really see it. So on my community tab earlier today, I shared this post that there is a channel that looks, it looks like mine. And they even have like my picture and everything. So like, it looks like this. It says at Crafting with Delanda. Uh, let me see if I can make this even bigger so you can really see it. So right here, it says at Crafting with Delanda dash W-I-5-C-X. That is not me. That's not my channel. It's not my, it's not my anything. And if you look, there is no channel banner. There is no verified check mark next to the name. There is no content. If you go to that page, it's not me. But let me show you mine. So if you're wondering, like, well, which one is you? So this is what my channel looks like. You'll know it's me because I do have a verified badge a verified check mark next to my name. So if someone is uh, commenting, like if you leave a comment on any of my videos, if you leave a comment on a video and they respond and it's not me, like it doesn't have a check mark, then you will know it's not me. Let me type a comment right now so you can see what the check mark looks like. So I can say this is me. Okay, it's not showing. <laughs> it's not showing up, but it's me, I promise. Uh, it'll show up later when we're on YouTube because I'm commenting from StreamYard. Um, Brandy, shout out to you because she reached out to my baby girl to say, hey, I think something is wrong, but that is not me. That is that, that one. Okay. It's showing up. Okay. So the one that has a check mark is me. If it does not have a check mark, it is not me. So that person who is pretending to be me, they're like um, leaving a phone number. And I think like, if you click on the phone number, it'll say something like join 
I don't even know what that is. I did report it to YouTube. I don't know how long it takes for them to fix it, but I want you to make sure you're in the right place, okay? Please make sure you're in the right place, okay? I'll review that again, but I definitely want to just address that now because it's not me, all right? Hey, Nina Stitching Styles. <sighs> Okay, so there's that. Oh, let me also say, uh, you really can't, Uju. I'm glad you said that, though. Um, if you won a logo, y'all, the giveaway really, I'm, I'm so sorry to, to, to say this, but it really is only for the people in the United States. I have only, yes, if you report that wrong page, like if, if they leave you a comment, you can report that page. I will try to find it again, but I deleted it. So I don't even, I can't even find it again, but um, I have sent a logo to the UK before and it was $18 to send this. I cannot, I cannot. I, I got too many craft supplies to purchase to be sending this for $18. So I am very sorry about that. But um, if you won, Please make sure you're in the United States, because if you're not, then in all actuality, you didn't win. OK, sorry about that. OK. All right. OK, so we're good. We talked about the fake channel. I said hello. Y'all said hi to Milo. We talked about the welcome. You know what the goal is. Let's look at materials and let's look at some examples of the sublimation DTF hack. Could you do a digital file? <sighs> Mm, not really. Not really. Okay, let's. Y'all look. <laughs> Do y'all see how he was relaxing, baby? You have no idea. You don't even know how to relax. Because if you're not relaxing like that, are you even really relaxing? The answer is no. Okay, let me get the uh, crank. All right, so last night I was, uh, he's sweet. Oh, okay. All right. Last night I was um, on live with my Facebook group and we were having a great time. Now, they were getting a little, little rambunctious. It wasn't me. It was totally 100% them. I was being dead serious the whole time. I was not laughing or doing any shenanigans or anything out of the ordinary. It was totally 100% all them. Okay. I even thought about starting a new group because they were just doing so much. But anyway, last night I was demonstrating how to do the sublimation DTF hack. And um, see, that's them right there. They're saying fake stuff and it's really them. And um, I made this shirt and I want to demonstrate how to do it again. Right. So this is what we did last night. I was being dead serious. I was sticking to the goal, sticking to the script, blah, blah, blah. So I used the Yamation Gold DTF transfer film on this and it came out so good. But I want to show you the one that got them all riled up. Well, let me get the purple one first, because that was the one that really got it started. In the words of MC Hammer, let's get it started. Oh, 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 let's get it started. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me find it. Where's the purple? I don't even know if I, where I put that purple shirt. I might have put it in the trash. Probably I didn't. Let's see. But if I don't find it, it's, it's okay, because you don't need it anyway. All we need is what we're doing tonight. I don't know. Oh, it's right here. So y'all know if you've been with me for any length of time, I don't really do color shirts, right? I really just stay. Leslie, that is not true. That is just not true. It is very, very fake. Very, very fake. Okay. But anyway, so I use the gold DTF film and I wanted to see how it would look on a purple shirt. So 
I had used it on this shirt that I just showed you. Morgan, this is my daughter, you guys. That's Morgan. You know, she does tutorials sometimes. Hey, Manga Changa. Um, and it did not go well on this one. So the purple totally picked up the gold and there were all kinds of issues and drama with this shirt. And we won't go into detail about it because I mean, you can really see it. I'm gonna put it up close so y'all can see it and you can laugh and look and look and laugh and all of that. Okay. <laughs> It's not, see, you see, I'm, I'm being dead serious. I'm being dead serious, but that's them. So anyway, I, I did this with the sublimation DTF hack on purple, did not come out right. So then I did it again on white. And this right here is the same image. This white, this sublimation DTF hack on the white shirt came out very, very nice. Now the bunny still is blessed. This bunny has been blessed, okay? The bunny is blessed, okay? But um, that's all we're going to say about that, okay? So we're going to do it again tonight, and we're going to see how it turns out. Now, this I love. <laughs> blessed in all the right places, baby. Okay, we're going to do this one again. And we're going to use the gold film again. Now, I love that gold film, but I made a note to make sure that I say what I'm getting ready to say, bunny buns. All right, Martin. See how y'all doing? Y'all, that's y'all. It ain't me because I'm being dead serious. That's y'all. It's not me. Um, I'm going to use that same film again. So back in December, I used the Yamation Varied Effects DTF film, right? The Yamation one. And I was singing the praises about that Yamation film because if you have tried that sublim, why am I hot like that? I mean, hot, but a different hot. Let me turn on the fan because I'm a woman of a certain age. My look, am I a woman of a certain age? Am I a woman of a certain age? Am I? My love, am I a woman of a certain age? See how he does? This is doing the most. You just do the most and you hit the most when you do the most. Let me, uh, Milo, you do you you're doing the most. So if you have tried the sublimation DTL pack, um, you will know that the hardest part about it is getting the film to go through the printer. But I found with the Yamation film, I didn't have any problem with the film going through the printer. Like it went through with ease, with no problem. That was Milo. He fell out of the chair, I guess. Oh, he jumped off the chair. Morgan said you jumped off the chair. Um, so with this film, I believe, and this is just my personal opinion at this point, I believe that because the film is thicker and it's a standard size piece of paper, it goes through the film with no, goes through the printer with no problem. So this is what the film looks like. This is the gold that I printed on in order to achieve this look. And this is eight and a half by 11. 
There's also one that is glitter. They have holographic, they have chameleon, and there's one that's glow in the dark. Thank you, Big Lum Show. And all of them are eight and a half by 11. So I love that. I love that. When you purchase the pack, it comes with 30 sheets. There are six sheets of each kind in the pack. Let me um, give you the link so you can look at the pack for yourself and see everything that comes in that pack because I feel like it's a good deal. Now, did I order more that might be delivered tomorrow? Don't worry about it. Am I going through menopause? Um, no, but do you have any other personal questions to ask? Would you like my blood type? Would you like my mother's maiden name? That was a unique, no. Y'all be doing both, don't you? Okay, so anyway, here's the holographic and here is the chameleon. I have not tried, I have not tried these. Okay. <laughs> that was different. Okay, so anyway, I have done the sublimation <clears throat> DTF hack before. Um, this is like the most popular tutorial that's on my channel right here. So this is sublimation DTF. This shirt has been washed a lot of times. I think I did five wash updates on my channel and I stopped after that because I just feel like, you know, if you want to know how it's going to hold up in the wash, you can go ahead and check, just check it. <laughs> didn't wash it okay um but anyway this this is the sublimation dtf hack i do not this is also a matter of personal opinion and personal recommendation i do not recommend going much darker than like a light gray or just a, a dark gray okay i don't recommend like i would not go darker than this okay i don't recommend going darker than this so this is a light gray. This is um, a dark gray. I don't recommend going any darker. Okay. All right. Any questions so far? Hey, Morgan. We need to meet so I can give you a um, yarn. Okay. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Okay, good. All right, so a question that came up last night was, can you use any film? My answer to that is, I would say yes. I have tried three different brands of film. I mean, not film, but powder. I've tried the Wellister, pow Wellister powder. I've tried the God Godera powder. And I've also tried um, the Yamation powder. And just being honest, just being honest, I haven't noticed the difference with, oh, this one is brighter. This one is better. Let me show you the powders that I've tried. And, you know, that'll be a matter. You can make a decision on that for yourself. Okay, so this is the, hey, this is the Wellister brand. When I made this shirt right here, the, I used the, gold, well, I, I don't know if I'm going to say it right, Godora, this one. When I made this shirt right here, I used the Godora powder, Okay. You can, Diane. I've tried that. Um, I do have a tutorial on my channel on how to do that. Okay. But I've also used this with success multiple times with no problem. Like I did a, a tutorial using the sublimation DTF hack with um, sublimation camp. And I use this powder right here. Okay. All right. And then last but not least, you're going to need something to keep the powder in. Now, I'm fancy. I'm probably fancier, much fancier than most of you because I keep mine in a pan. I keep mine in this roasting pan right here that has handles. And I don't want to hear your mouth about it now. 
Look at that. See the handles? Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? See the handles? I know it's so good, right? It's so good. Thank you, Sharon Davenport, for saying that. I wonder, I can see the jealousy coming through in your post. See, this is somebody who wishes they had um, a pan with handles like this. Okay. She probably has to carry hers like this while I'm over here carrying mine fancy like. Okay. That is fancy. You understand me? All right. So you need something to keep it in. I just keep mine in this. I also keep a little spoon in here. So I don't ever use it for anything else. I'm not like, oh, let me go rinse that spoon off and stir the spaghetti or whatever. Right? I'm not using it. It doesn't have multiple uses. I only use it for this powder. So I don't need anybody to say, what the you know, it's not safe for you to be. Don't worry about it. We don't, it, this never goes in the kitchen ever. Okay? So we're ready. We're, we're good on that. Let me put Milo on the leash because he is doing the most. One second, y'all. Why were you doing the most? If you weren't doing the most, you couldn't you wouldn't have to be on the leash. I can even talk to the people. But you're doing the most. One second. Sit. Okay, so I've reviewed all the materials. I am going to show you two different ways. Okay, good, Whitney. All right, balloons. I am going to show you two different ways to print. I personally like to print from Silhouette Studio. I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. If you don't feel comfortable downloading Silhouette Studio, if you just want to use um, Microsoft Word or uh, like Google Docs or something like that, you can also do that. Um, but Silhouette Studio, just the regular Silhouette Studio, you don't have to have a Silhouette cutter, just the software, the basic software is free. And it's a great resource to print from. I'm going to show you how to go to the website so you can download it for yourself. Okay. All right. Any questions so far? I'm going to put this right here because I'm not using this heat press. The last thing I didn't mention was parchment paper. Okay. Any questions so far? Hey, Connie. Any questions so far? Okay, perfect. Uh, let me show you the, let's see, share, share. Okay, so if you go to this tab and it's just silhouetteamerica.com forward slash software, I'm gonna put that in the chat. This is where you would go to download the software. If you just want the basic software, just the basics, you don't plan to do rhinestones, you don't plan to do any other specialty types of crafting, you don't plan to make any special designs that, you know, you would need a, a, a higher version of Silhouette Studio, you can go to that website that I just put it right there in the chat and download the software, just the basics. You don't need a cutter, okay? 
You don't need a cutter at all. Now, if you think one day you might want to get into rhinestones, making rhinestone templates and stuff like that, you would need the business edition of the business edition of Silhouette Studio. But for just printing, like you just want to print your um, your tumblers from there, your PNGs for your tumblers. I highly recommend doing that. I highly recommend doing that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing. All right. So we reviewed the materials. I showed you examples of what the sublimation DTF hack looks like. I showed you the software that we're going to use for this tutorial. If you don't feel comfortable using Silhouette Studio, but you have Microsoft Word and you know how to use Microsoft Word, by all means, you can use Microsoft Word. When I did the tutorial the first time, I, I used to always use Microsoft Word. But now that I know the basics of Silhouette Studio, I just always I print from there. OK, so we've done that. The only thing I didn't show you is my printer, but I'll show you my printer when we watch the image come through the printer. OK, someone asked, could I review the paper that I'm using? I'm using the Yamation Varied Effects um, film. I get my PNGs from um, Creative Fabrica. I'm using a bundle from Creative Fabrica. OK, so let me paste. This is the. That's the link to the film and this right here. Let me just pull it up so y'all can look at it. And then we'll go into Silhouette Studio. So this is the bundle that we're going to use right here. And it has a lot of different options, I think. This is the one I showed you already. This is the blessed bunny, right? That bunny is looking really, really good, right? The bunny is blessed, too blessed to be stressed. Um, that's another file that's in this bundle. Bundle. Here's this groovy chick. Um, ooh, I'm going to dance with some bunny. That's cute. Um, don't worry, be happy. This is the one from last night. Um, so just really cute. This is the bundle that we're using, okay? All right. All right. So let me um now everything is also already listed. It's already linked below the video. Everything you need is already linked below the video. So now let me say this and I promise we're going into Silhouette Studio because somebody made a comment on my YouTube channel that I talk too much. Like you let me just tell you, you just talk too much. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. But um I am always going to check and ask you how you're doing. That's just how I teach. And the reason I do that is because I like to make sure that I'm not going too fast. I like to make sure that you're getting it and that you feel confident that you can do this once we're off. Okay. That's what I do. Now, if that bothers you, I have plenty of tutorials on this process that are not live that I just went in and got straight to the point. Okay. So if you are a crafter who does not like all of that yin, yang, 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 you can watch the video that I will, that I'll leave it linked below. Okay. All right. Just wanted to say that. All right. So let's go into, it is rude Brandy, but she said it. She said, let me just say you talk too much. <laughs> And my daughter Madison said, like, I ain't trying to be funny, but that was funny. <laughs> okay, so let's go into Silhouette Studio and we're going to do the things. And I'm still going to be asking, how y'all feeling? I'm, that's just what I do. That's just what I do. I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> Jules said, Jules said, therapy for that coming. Okay, so look, we're in Silhouette Studio. Even if I was using just the basic edition that I've already shown you how to go and download, it will look like this. The first thing you do when you get to Silhouette Studio is go over here to the right. See where I'm hovering with the mouse? See where I'm hovering over here with the mouse? See where I am? 
true facts. Okay, right here on the right where I'm hovering, these are panels, okay? These are panels. On the very first panel, what I suggest you do, and hopefully you're taking notes, hopefully you have your craft journal and you're writing this down, okay? Over here on the right, the first thing I would do if I was going to be using Silhouette Studio for the sublimation DTF hack, or even if I was just using this to print my, my sublimation um, images for like a Tumblr, I will go over here first and I will set up the page. The page should match your paper size. The page should match your paper size. Okay. Let me say that again. The page should match your paper size. Now, because my, my paper size is eight and a half by 11, over here, I'm going to make sure it matches. So for machine, remember I said I, I have none. I don't have a silhouette. For cutting mat, it's also on none. For media size, mine is on letter. And right now it's in landscape mode but I'm going to change this to portrait mode. Depending on the orientation of your image, that will let you know if you should be using yours in landscape. If your image is wide, you're gonna use it wide. If yours is tall, you're going to use it tall. Okay, like this. Okay, see what I'm, you see the difference? Thank you, Radiant Rose. Okay. Okay, you see what I'm doing? You see what I'm saying right here? Jules, thank you. Yes. I, I know there's a little bit of a delay, but I want to make sure y'all understand what's going on right here. Perfect. Okay. So now the image that I'm using is tall. And I've already downloaded the image. So I'm gonna keep it just like this. My paper size is eight and a half by 11, okay? So I'll go over here to file and I'll go to open and I'll go and open one of those files. Now, I like the one Hoppy Go Lucky. I think that's so cute. Um, and we'll make this one and then we'll make another one and then we'll do them as giveaways. Okay. So here's the first one. Happy go lucky. I'm going to click. Okay. When the file comes in, it's going to come in at whatever size. Okay. Thank you, Meredith. I'm just waiting for it to do what it's going to do. Okay, so this file came in big. If I click on the file and I go up here to the top panel, now just because you're using a software that you're not familiar with, it doesn't mean you have to know everything about the software. Think about that. You don't know everything about Cricut Design Space, right? You don't know everything about Microsoft Word. You don't know everything about Excel. So just like here, you don't have to know everything about it. All you need to know is what you need to know. I save my files in a folder, Philip. So it's over here to the left. Just click on file. I'm over here, see, like follow the mouse. See, I'm going up, 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 all the way over to the left. Let me do that again. So I'm right here, I'm just hovering, 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 hovering. And I'm going to go all the way up, 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 over to the left. In the top, there's a uh, option for file. I already have mine saved, so I'm not going to, I don't need to save it again. Okay, so now here's the file. Now, remember, my paper is eight and a half by 11, so I need to resize this down to at least fit on top of this paper, right? Because anything bigger than this is not going to print. So I'm just, you know, come down here. I'm grabbing it by the corners and I'm doing it like that. 
Now, because I don't really care about the proportions being locked, well, just Country Girl Cricut Design Space is not going to let me print this big on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Right? If I was in Cricut Design Space, I think the biggest I could go was like six by seven or something like that. It will definitely not let me go this big. All right. So now I have it on my paper, but it's still not as big as I want it to be. And what I'm going to do, pay attention, see my mouse, see where I'm hovering, follow the mouse. Okay. I'm hovering right here on the bunny and I go up. If I go up right here, to the width and the height, I can unlock it just like I can in Cricut Design Space, right? I can unlock it right here and I can change the proportions, okay? I could type in eight and a half by 11, but I don't want it to be eight and a half by 11, Deborah, because actually that's a little bit too big, okay? So I'm unlocking the proportions right here See where I am at the top. I'm in the, I'm on the top menu. Y'all are asking great questions. You really you are asking great questions. They did, Jesse, but it still won't let you go this big. Okay, so I'm I'm at the top and I unlocked it. And I just want to stretch this out because I know I can make it a little bit wider. And I also know that I can make it a little bit taller right here. And I don't really care about the proportions being locked. I just want to be able to print as big as I want to. Okay. All right. Crafting is my business. Okay, Adrian. All right. So now I have it. I have it just the way I want it. I think this looks great. I think this looks fantastic, right? And so now what I would do is go to file. And if you just want to check this for yourself, maybe somebody can, you know, write this down. The size of this document right now is 7.9 by 10.8. And you know, and I know, and I know, and you know, and we know all of us know together that you cannot print this size in Cricut Design Space on eight and a half by 11 paper. We all know that. It's a cotton shirt. Yes, Shay Shay. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go to file and then print. And then I'm going to wait for my printer to come up. What size did I say? 7.9 by 10.4. 7.9 by 10.4. All right, so now my print preview, this, this is really nothing. My print preview will come up. I'm going to click print, and then my printer options will come up. Now, I'm printing from my Epson EcoTank 2760 series printer. And you can see right here that it says connecting. It's actually not doing anything. That's just fake news, right? Kind of like the fake news that my Facebook group had last night. They all were filled to the brim with fake news, okay? So I'm gonna move this over because nothing is actually going to happen. Right here behind this, there are my printers. I'm going to select preferences and I'm going to go to my sublimation preset with the mirror on, okay? Now I have a whole tutorial on my channel where I demonstrated how to do a sublimation preset, how to save your sublimation preset, how to get the colors that I have, how to download the drop. Like I did the whole thing. I did the whole thing. Okay. So I'm not going to review that, but I'm using my sublimation preset and I'm using it with the letter size eight and a half by 11. And I'm using this in portrait mode. One of my settings that I have saved is to keep mine on print preview. The reason why I do that is because I want to see it before it actually prints. 
because I don't want any issues or drama or drama or issues, okay? So I'm going to click OK. And once I click OK, it's actually not going to print. It's going to give me a real print preview so I can look at it beforehand to see if anything is cut off, if I need to make the image smaller or anything like that. So now I'm going to click print and my real print preview is going to come up and my image is going to be mirrored. This looks excellent. I think this looks excellent. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my heat press on. I'm turning my heat press on to 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. I'm going to use this green heat press over here. Sorry for the beeping. All right, I'm going to put the film in and I'll uh, bring the camera over there so y'all can see what it looks like. Let's stop camera. Thank you, Marilyn, for doing that. Thank you so much. All right. Let's do that. And let's go to settings. Let's go to back camera. And Um, trying to adjust it so y'all be able to see it. Okay, still like this. I think that should be. Oh, wait. I hope this is good enough. I hope it is. We'll see. Mm. Okay. I think y'all be able to see that. All right. Let me... Um, Get the film. Let me show you the film. Let me go here and go to hopefully that's good enough. Let's see if I can bring it closer. Well, you'll see the camera, the, see that? You can see the printer good enough from there. All right, so this is the film. It's gold. I like this film. It's the same size as a regular sheet of paper. Let me show you that. So I just have a regular sheet of copy paper right here. And it's going to be the same exact size as this film, right? And with this film, another reason why I like it is because I don't have to try to figure out which side is the print side. One side of the film is very shiny and the other side is dull. And you can see that it has like a gold shimmer, gold sheen to it. 
that is the print side, okay? This is the print side. So I'm gonna put this in my Epson Ecotank 2760 series printer. This printer has sublimation ink inside. Okay, so somebody has asked me before with the sublimation DTF hack, do you need sublimation ink? The answer is yes. Okay, so now I'm going to click print. And you'll see it's going to start to print. Sorry about this. Just pretend like it's not there. Got your heat press all in pieces. You can't get it to work. Why is it in pieces, Princess? All right, Miss C said y'all like the video. Thank you, Aunt Wanda. So it is going to print slowly. You want your sublimation prints to print slowly. You don't need them to print fast. You're not in a rush. I'll just let it do what it's doing. You see, I'm not, I didn't have to do any kind of finagling to get the, the film to go through. It went through with no problem. I don't have any other paper in my printer back there. It's just that one sheet of film. I didn't have to tape it. I didn't have to do anything, right? You see that. Your husband disassembled it to move it. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, princess. It's so cute, right, Donzel? So cute. We'll try it on a gray shirt and see how it goes, but I don't think I'm going to use the gold film. We'll try another one of the, the options. Let's try the um, let's try the glitter one and see how that one goes. What kind of um what kind of um heat press is it, Princess? Yeah, because, <laughs> oh, princess, I don't know if I, I, I'm, I don't handle things well. I'm still working on it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you working on it, Delonda? No. If y'all did not get a chance to see this um, tutorial where I demonstrated my printer settings, I did it in um, a tutorial. I think this might be the on the thumbnail. I talked about how do you find um, the printer drivers? How do you find your operating system? I demonstrated how to go to the Epson website, how to download the drivers. I went through the whole thing, how to save the settings and never have to change them again. Okay, so, all right, what's the largest size your printer can handle? This printer right here can go up to eight and a half by 14, but I also have, I know you can't see it right here, but this, I have the Epson EcoTank 15,000 and this one will go 13 by 19. Okay, Brent. Why do you have to use Word Perfect Princess? Silhouette Studio is free. This is a hack, Sherry.
So I'm not going to lie, I was quite impressed with the animation, um, with their film, by not having to do silly stuff to try to get the film to go through the printer. Like, I love that. I love the fact that it just goes through without any drama. Because we don't need drama. Do we need drama? We do not need drama. We do not need any drama. Coming back around. Okay, dull side is the print side. What paper are you using? Risa, we, we looked at it last night. This is the Yamation. She has more than one color wheel on it. I'm using the premium presentation paper mat. I'm using my regular sublimation preset. Color wheel on it. Yeah. Hey, Christiana. Let me see what I miss. Free download. Yeah, I would prefer. Yeah, use the free one. Let me find that video. I'm sure it was the right one, Missy. Uh, Marilyn is pretty good about uh, the links. Let me find it. Might not be. A, oh, it's this. This one right here. Shareable link. Yes, sorry, Risa. Yes, I love it. It's a 2760. It's linked below the video. The question is, what's the number? Is the Epson EcoTank 2760? All right, so now I'm going to turn the camera back around and I'm going to pour the powder on. Okay. All right. Uh oh. All right. So here's the image, and it's on gold. It's on gold film, right? You can see that. So cute, right? So this is, the, of course, the shiny side is the dry side. It's the side that it didn't print on. What I'm going to do now is pour the powder on here and, you know, roll it back and forth so that the excess powder falls off okay anything that sticks to the film is what i want to stick to the film oh yeah angelia the only reason i have the paid version of silhouette studio is because i um create rhinestone templates but if you're not doing that you don't need the paid version all right so here's my pan and i'm going to show you how i pour the powder Let's see if y'all can see that. Let's move it over here. Let's move this back. See the, the pan? 
right? So I just keep this covered like that because I'm fancy like that and y'all are not. Um, if you prefer to wear gloves, let me show you gloves that you could wear. Um, I kind of don't, but don't worry about it. Do what you do. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. Don't do what I do. You can literally get these gloves from Walmart. They come in a box of 100. One size fits most. And if your hand falls outside of most, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna, I have my little handy dandy spoon that I just keep right here. I just take the powder, I'm gonna pour it on here. I pour a heavy amount. Like that. And then I just take it and I just roll it back and forth, just like this, until the whole image is completely covered. dull side towards me. So now when I'm looking at the film, oh look, I touched the ink. I can see where I touched it. Hold on, let me, I see a little smear. A little smear is smear. No, no, we're not doing any noises. See that? So the film is on there. See that? I don't know if you can tell, but the film is on there. I mean, the powder is on there thick. See that? See how thick it is? Now, um, what I typically do is I put mine on my heat press and I'll just let it sit here for a few. Now, according to the directions that came with this, um, they recommend letting it sit for 30 seconds, but to me, 30 seconds is not enough. If you are not using a heat press like this, let's just say you're using a Cricut Easy Press. Let me show you how you would hover it. My love, sit down and be quiet because we're not doing noises. We're not doing any noise. We're not doing any noises. So let's pretend you don't have a clamshell heat press and you want to do this, you know, hack and, and you want to be able to hover yours. You can just take your easy press and let's just, uh, I'll move the table up so you can see what I'm saying. Let's just say this was my image right here. Like I just printed this and I want to hover mine. I would just hover it just like this and I might let it hover for a minute or two minutes, okay? So you can just do it like this if you have an easy press. You don't have to have a clamshell. If you have a swing away heat press, just swing it away so that the heat is over the image, okay? That's my suggestion. Let me see what y'all are saying, see if I missed anything. Okay, so here's this. What I would kind of do is just like really let it like hover, hover, hover over it like that so that I'm making sure that the powder is melting. That's what I want it to do. So I can tell that the image is getting darker. I would let it go again. I'm going to tell you my opinion about heat presses when I finish doing this. Okay, let me tell you how I feel about um, when I'm doing the sublimation DTF hack, my personal favorite heat press to use is the HTV Ront. 
because you know you can just slide the the film in there and not co not close it and it just hovers perfectly. I love the HTV romp for that. Okay, let me see what I missed. Thanksgiving bid and create something on white sublimation paper. Yeah, well, it depends. Tamara, what it depends on what you're putting it on. DTF hex. Does the Epson XP6100 take sublimation ink? It's laggy. Try closing out some stuff, Tiffany. Is Caesar going to have a rhinestone program? I heard they are. Cut off part of your design. Leonardo Studio needs to make four letter. Not the whole designer could not figure out how to do that. I don't know. Didi, the table is listed below with my equipment. Thank you. The table came from Amazon. Okay, so HTV Ron, still 300. I still do mine on 300. Pancake grill. Avery, I only use my pancake grill for pancakes. That's it. The powder, yes, you did, Carol, because we start on time over here, and I've already talked about all the materials. With, and uh, really, the powder doesn't matter. You can use any powder. You can use this one. This one is the Wello, sir. Hey, husband. You want to say hi to the people? Hi, Peter just got home from work. And this one is the Godora. I don't know if I'm saying that one right. Thank you, baby. Where do I purchase the Yamation paper from Amazon? And it's listed below the video. Can't get it to work. Canada, why not? Hey, everybody. Oh. This husband. Okay. I'm going to put this on the floor. I'll put it over here for a minute. Okay, so I feel like it's been sitting there long enough. I feel like it's been sitting there long enough. All right, so now what I would do is just move it from the heat press and let me let you see what it looks like. Help you with what, Canada? See that? Y'all, I'm not good at this part, at the showing. It's so cute. It's so super cute. Uh, oh my gosh, Hoppy. Okay, so with the Yamation, I explained earlier at the beginning when I was going over materials that this exact set came with five different um, options. It came with glitter. It came with holographic, glow in the dark, gold, and... I forgot the other one. Chameleon. It came with chameleon. And um, we're using the one that's gold. Is the rate is regular is sublimation ink. All right, so now I'm going to press the shirt. I'm doing a pre-press. I'm gonna put a crease down the middle of my shirt like I always do. Just I fold it in half just like this, and I put a crease down the middle. And I have the heat press set for 300, uh, 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. It's tight. So I do the crease so I can know where the middle of my shirt is. Hey, Lincoln Park. And now I'm going to press it again. I'm going to put the image in the middle and press it again. I'm not going to put anything on top. So here's the image. I'm putting it down with the powder on the shirt. So the powder side is going to go directly on the shirt. Let 
me get a little of that crease out because we don't want any issues with uh, creases. We don't need the crease to be too defined because my uh, Facebook group can't handle defined creases. I can, they can't. I can handle it, they cannot. Not putting anything on top. I'm gonna press it for 15 seconds. Okay, heck for cotton, yes, it's all cotton. All cotton. All right. I'm going to let this cool off. So here's the image on the shirt. And I'm going to let it cool off. Just by like fanning it like this. If you don't feel like standing there just fanning it, you can just put it down away from the heat. Just let it cool off just a little bit, but it's going to be so cute. Oh my gosh. 300 degrees, 15 seconds, 300 degrees, 15 seconds. Hey, Rebecca, 300 degrees, 15 seconds. I'm just letting it cool off. That's going to be so cute, even though I messed it up right there. With the heck, does it still have to be white? You can, I would not go darker than gray. What was the name of the DTF powder? It's this, you can use this one. You can use any DTF powder. I don't, I don't have a preference. I'm not even going to lie. You can use this. Yamation makes DTF powder. But I've had success with both of these. You can use, you really can use anyone. Thank you, Phyllis. Uh, I would not say it matters because with the dark colors, you need something under it. All right, so now I'm going to peel this off. But I'm putting it back on the heat press. Let me move the powder so y'all can see it. See what I'm about to do? What I'm about to do? See it back there? Now this is how it looks peeled away from the, the shirt. So now what I'm going to do is put parchment paper on top of that. I'm going to press it again for another 15 seconds. Parchment paper. I like this kind. You can use any kind you want, but um, it doesn't matter. Parchment paper. Fifteen seconds. Three hundred degrees. Fifteen seconds. How much of the powder? Enough to cover the image. Enough to cover the, can someone on your team call Sawgrass? Well, thank you, T. John. And this is it. See how cute that is? Do y'all see how cute that is? Do y'all see how cute this is? It's so cute. It's so cute. And I know y'all can't see it, but there is a shimmer, like a gold sheen. What is that? Is there a difference? No. I did not see gold in this size. I only saw gold in the eight and a half by 11. And I already ordered something that's coming tomorrow. <laughs> but look, let me, I want you to see that shimmer. Let me see if I can make it so you can see it. See that? You see the sparkle in there? 
in the eyes. Do y'all see that? It's, it's like it has a shimmer to it with the gold. Now you can see it right there really good. So cute. Oh my gosh. So look, this shirt is 100% heavy cotton. It's a gilded shirt. It's heavy cotton. This one is a large. Okay. So we're going to try it again on white. I mean on gray. Now I'm not going to use this gold on gray, I I personally hear now y'all listen when I say this because I only tell you what I believe. I, I don't if I don't believe it, I don't tell you. I personally do not think that you should use the gold on any color fabric other than white. Because when I use this on the purple, the purple soaked up that gold. Okay, so I personally do not recommend using the gold film on white. Y'all, did y'all catch what I just said? You can't use these images. You can't use images with sub with infusible ink. Okay. You cannot. Can you use the template again? No, you can only use it once. Mm. It's shimmery. It's, go it's orange. Okay, so I would not, I would not suggest doing that. Now, when I try the the gray shirt, I'm gonna use this. I'll use this um, glitter one. No, do not use butcher paper. Butcher paper is for sublimation. Butcher paper is meant to be used one time to soak up the ink. That's it. It's not meant to be used over and over again. Parchment paper can be used a billion times. Do not use butcher paper. Can you use red or purple teas? I would not suggest doing that. I would not suggest doing that. So when I made this, let me see if I can find it. And then we're going to do the uh, gray shirt. Where did I put it? Oh, this. So in the video where I made this, I talked about like how dark I would go if I'm doing sublimation. I would not go darker than like this light blue right here. And I probably wouldn't go darker than this yellow if I'm doing sublimation. I would not. Now, if you want to try it because you just like to waste your stuff, do it. <laughs> but I'm not doing it, okay? Because I already know it's not going to work. Okay, only brand of shirts and hoodies. Okay. I'm saying I wouldn't, if I did say that, I did not mean to say that. I'm saying about this, I will only use this on white fabric. I wouldn't use this on any other color fabric. Thank you, Rebecca. What happened to the colors? What happened to the colors, Boyd? Did the colors not look right? Let me see. Let me go back. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like it's a pinkish, like a dark pink. Maybe the gold. Because butcher paper is meant to be used with sublimation ink. To be used one time. It's never, you're never going to use it again. Pattern was pastels. It, it's, mm, I'm thinking the gold did that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think the gold did that. Okay, so we're gonna try it on gray. And I'm I'm not going to a dark gray. I'm gonna go to this. Well, I mean, I'm not going to anything darker than this. So with my first time doing the hack, I did a light gray. Um, this. 
And the darkest I will go is this. Okay. I'd rather do sublimation than DTV inkjet because that paper. Yeah. Well, craft and retire with boss lady merch. This is for someone who does not like to wear polyester. Right. So if I'm doing this, it's because I want to wear cotton, not because I want to wear polyester. And everybody doesn't like polyester. Where do you find the larger sheets? I only found them on Amazon, but I didn't find these colors. I only found the white ones, the eight and a half by 14. OK, I'm throwing this in the trash. All right, I'm going back in. Now I'm going to print from Microsoft Word. So I can show you how to set it up if you prefer to print from Microsoft Word instead of Silhouette Studio. OK. OK, y'all OK with that? Nobody in California likes polyester. Mm hmm. All right, we're going to Microsoft Word. Let me open it up. Okay. Hopefully that was helpful. Are we getting ready to see what we can see? I like polys. So that gold came from the film. Yes, the gold came from the film. We're gonna see. We want to see how it's gonna work out. All right, let me share my screen and we will go into Microsoft Word. Let's go to entire screen, share, hide, here we go. All right. Okay, so we're in Microsoft Word, right? 109% cotton. Okay, so we're in Microsoft Word. And you can see that I'm just in a regular eight and a half by 11 size document, right? I'm not in any, anything fancy. I don't have anything fancy set up, right? What I would do, the first thing I would do if I was going to print from Microsoft Word is I would go up here, see where I am at the top. Now, here's my mouse in the middle of the screen. I don't know if y'all can even see that. It's not even showing up. But if I go to the top up here, I'm going to go to the option for layout. See where I am? Layout. So there's help, view, review, mailings, references, layout. Yours might not look like mine because it might depend on what tabs you have at the top of yours. But I'm right here at the top on the option for layout. I'm going to click layout and then I'm going to go to size. The size of this film is eight and a half by 11. So right here, I'm on the letter size, which is eight and a half by 11. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is going to eight and a half by 11. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do is go back up here to the top and you see where my, see if I click right here on these um, like two arrows, see where I am up here in the top margin, it's coming from the paper. See where I am? See where I am? Okay, thank you, Marilyn and Jesse. Perfect. All right, so up here, I'm going to make sure I have the two arrows, like the double sided arrow, and I'm just going to move the margin all the way over. I don't like, I just don't even want to have a margin over there. I want to do the same thing over here on the right. So on the left and right, I basically have no margin. Then over here on the left, I'm going to do the same thing. 
I'm going to move this margin all the way up and I'm moving this margin down here all the way down so that I just basically have no margin. Okay. I could princess, but I do it like this, but you do it how you do it. Okay. So I have that. Now I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to insert a picture because when I downloaded those files, they, they are actually PNGs, right? So if I go to insert picture, I can select from those PNGs that I downloaded. So I'm going to my documents, I'm going to my creative fabric of files, and I'm going to navigate to that folder. And I called it the groovy something, 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 groovy Easter sublimation bundle. And I'm going to find that file again, right? So I'm going to just look through here and decide, do I want to use the same image again? Do I want to pick something different this time? Like this one is cute. This one that says uh, groovy Easter. I like that. Let me see what that one will look like. I liked it. What do y'all think about that one? Or do we want to use the same one again? We don't see it. Marilyn, you don't see it? Okay, let's use this one. All right, so now what I would do, this is just how I do it. I right click on it and then I go to wrap text and I choose the option for tight. And the reason why I do that is because it will allow me to move the image around on the paper wherever I want to move it. Okay, so I just use this. I use the, I right click and I go to wrap text and I choose the option for tight. That's what I do. And then I'll kind of like look at it and see if it's cut off or anything. Now it looks like it is cut off a little bit right there, like on the side right there. See how that little, let's see if I can bring that out some. And I might have to bring this down a little bit. Cause I don't want any of it to be cut off. How like the leaf right there. I don't know if y'all can tell. Um, it's like cut off. Let's see if I oh I guess it's just like that on the file. I don't think it has anything to do with this paper. Let me just double check that though. I'm just making it a little smaller to see if I can stretch this out and see if it's just like that. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's cut off like that in the file. All right. Okay, I think this is fine. All right, so now I have it basically how I want it. I can reduce the view so I can get a good look at it and see if I like it like this. I like it. I think it's, I think it's great. Hey, Gina. All right. So I wouldn't do anything else to it. I will go to file and then click print. And then I would still connect to my Epson EcoTank 2760, but I can see it's still cut off. And so what I would do is, um, Go to a print preview and I'm still going to select my sublimation preset. I'm still going to um, keep it on print preview and look at it because I'm not sure why it's cut off like that. Let me click cancel right quick and go back. I really don't like that. See, I feel like even in here, my image is smaller than what I could do from Silhouette Studio. Let me see the size. Okay, it's 9.5 by 
Well, let's see. Let's click OK. Let me click File and Print again and go to my Epson Ecotank. I'm going to select Printer Properties. I know, Jules, I agree with that. I wonder if it will be cut off in Silhouette Studio. Just curious. Let me click print and see what the print preview is going to look like. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. What do y'all think? That's the print preview right there. Can you make it a background? I'm not sure, Brenda. I think this is good. Let me let me print it like this. I think this is fine. I'm using the glitter film this time. And while this is printing this time, I'm gonna come talk with y'all and review some of the things that I shared earlier that some other people may have missed. Let me go put this in the printer. Let me um, stop sharing for one second and say my say about this. When I get ready to, we're going to compare. When I get ready to put this in the printer, so like here's the glitter film, right? So you see this is a shiny side. This is a dull side. See, it's dull, but it looks, you can see the glitter, right? So here's glitter. Here's shiny. The leaf and flower is cut off. We're going to go with it like that, Carol Hunter Slayer. When I get ready to put this in my printer, the dull side is going to be facing me. So like, let's just pretend like this is my printer right here. I'm going to put it in the printer with the dull side facing me because the dull side is the print side. So when I put it in, it's going to come out like this. Okay, I'm going to put it in the printer. The dull side is the print side. If that lady is here who said I talk too much. <laughs> I wonder if she want me to stop talking. Shut up, Yolanda. Just point to the stuff. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Girl, you so crazy. Okay, print. You do, Alpha David. Hey, Donna from Arkansas. Can you order, order the gold by itself? I did not see it. I did not see it as an option to order by itself. I only saw it in the pack with um, six. Oh, let me go back and see what there's a message on the printer. Shut up! I said shut up, girl! Okay, paper size. Let me click OK. Letter. Premium presentation, continue, click OK. All right. OK, so <clears throat> some of the things I reviewed earlier. The, the film that I'm using came in a package of 30. And in the package of 30, there were six of each types of film. So there were six gold, six glitter, six glow in the dark, six chameleon, and six holographic. I have not tried the holographic. I haven't also I also haven't tried the chameleon. Um it's the Yamation. Let me see, I'm trying to find the one that had the the cover sheet. It's the Yamation Varied Effects DTF film. Let me see if I have the one that had the cover sheet so y'all can see what that looks like. So it comes with, can you use glossy? You can. It comes with chameleon. It comes with, and that one is not open. It comes with holographic. Came with glitter. And it came with gold. And it came with glow in the dark. I haven't used the, um... Here's the glow in the dark. I haven't used the other two. I'm trying to 
trying to find the sheet. Oh, here it is. So this is what the, the package looks like. It's called the Yamation DTF Transfer Film Kit. And it comes with six of each sheet. So six glitter, six glow in the dark, holographic golden chameleon. Thank you, Dana. And um, I mean, it tells you like it's eight and a half by 11. I honestly, in my, in my personal opinion, I think that's the reason why it goes through the printer with no problem. Um, and because it's thicker than regular DTF film. Invite her. Party to move it cool. Go see film. Invite who? Invite who, Aunt Wanda? Who do you want me to invite? Yes, use the coupon. Use the coupon. That's a great idea. Let me see what that'll be. That'll be 66 cents per sheet. No. <laughs> no. Do y'all wanna see y'all wanna see what she said? Y'all wanna see her comment? I should have pulled it up so y'all can see it, but then I'll be exposing her her name. I don't want to expose her name. You can't find the larger sheets. I don't think the, the color ones are in the larger sheets, Miss Joy. I only got the larger sheets. I got the eight and a half by 14 in clear. She did, Bonetta. She did. Let me, I could pull it up on my phone though. Let me show you. It's like you, you talk, I got a, I got a suggestion for you. You talk too much. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much for your very unkind and unsolicited opinion, ma'am. Oh, th no, she didn't say that. This is what she said. Can y'all see that? That Mac, that Mac video boring. I could have said, can you please learn how to spell make, but I didn't because it don't matter. Um, <laughs> because we don't have to be the same. I don't have to act like her. Okay. Okay. Anyway, JV, JV, let them be great. This is the, this is the one I ordered. Okay, is this? Uh, Y'all, I didn't use the coupon yesterday and I ordered this yesterday. I'm mad at myself. I am upset at myself because I didn't use the coupon. But anyway, there's the link right there for the... um. For this, we're gonna see how it does on that. Uh, there's a coupon for ten dollars off, Miss Joy. And I I ordered it yesterday, and it's coming tomorrow. But I did respond. I already. I said, thank you for your unsolicited and unkind advice. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. I was like, man, you chose violence. You probably don't even like bacon. 
what's wrong with you? Why would you just, just find another channel? It's okay. It's okay. Cause I already, it's been, um, it's definitely been 24 hours. Thank you, Stacy. And maybe she doesn't like, and that wasn't even a live. It was a, it was just a regular video. It was just a regular video. It wasn't even a live. All right, so we're gonna try with the gray shirt and see how it goes. This will be, I don't think I've ever done it on a shirt this dark, but we'll see. This is a large, I'll go ahead and pre-press it now. I did not have a lighter gray. I need to loosen this up. It's very tight. All right, let me get the film. Oh, it's so cute. You can see the pinks. It's so cute. Look, look at that. Isn't it so cute? Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> I don't think she was subscribed. I don't, I don't even care. I really don't care about that. I really don't, because that's just like weird. Like, why would you even say that to somebody? If you see something you don't like, just keep scrolling. Like, it's a million YouTube channels. And really, she could have turned the volume down. She could have sped the video up. There were so many other things she could have done instead of what she did. All right. I'm going to be very careful this time. So this is the side that's wet. This is the side that's shiny and dry. So you put the powder on the wet side, okay? So I'm using my hand dandy spoon and I'm going to, you know, put a generous amount on here. You want to put it wherever the ink is wet. And then just roll it back and forth. And then shake off the excess. I flipped it in the, in my printer settings, it's saved as a setting. Okay, so here's the image. You can see the pink. Remember, we couldn't see the pink on the orange film. Okay, so here it is right here. I'm gonna put it on the heat press. And I'm gonna let it melt a little bit. I can't really see your comments because I really, I'm really low key blind. Not even gonna lie to you, ain't even gonna hold you. I cannot see you at all. <laughs> I can see some uh, little circles, but I can't see anything y'all are saying. I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to do this like two more times and still let it sit there a, a little longer. But the HTV run is perfect for this because you can just put it under there and let it sit. And it's, it's awesome. Let it go again. It's looking really, really cute. It's so cute. I feel like I could have printed bigger from Silhouette Studio. I really do. I'm 
will still let it sit there for a minute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So cute. Let me see what y'all are saying. Keep that fancy lid on your pen. Okay, thank you, Jules. Jules said the pen is fancy. That's what I do, honey. I'm finished with the pan, though. So actually, y'all, this is actually like a pan inside a pan. So I have a little pan. And then I use the big pan to catch the overflow. That's what I do. Can you use a heat gun? I'm sure you could, Benetta. I'm sure you could. What film are you using glitter? It's, it came in this pack right here. It came with six glitter, six glow in the dark, six holographic, six gold. Now, they, they're working on their, they're not in their spelling era right now they're not but we're not gonna worry about it and six chameleon i'm gonna put this back i keep this over there on the other side of my craft room they're not in their spelling era and they probably need to be quiet because they lack the video boring Talk less because you mac the video boring. <laughs> Where can you get the film? I will link it again. You mac it. What do you do? You mac it. You mac it. <laughs> Your mac and boring. Your mac and boring. She probably not watching. She's like, you need to talk less because you mac it boring. But what you mac it? I mac it, you mac it, we mac it, we both mac. let y'all see it so it's almost looking i don't know if you remember what it looked like before but i could pull out another glitter so i can show you so you can compare i want you to see something so when i first printed on the glitter film it was you could see it like you could see it was like um it was like this like it was frosty foggy fuzzy fuzzy wazy wazy man fuzzy wazy right fuzzy but now look since it's been sitting under the heat press you see it's almost transparent can you see that can you see the difference look at that you can see that image and look can y'all see that so drying that powder on there really good real real, real like that all right so let's try it fuzzy wazy wazy man Milo, we're not saying fazy wazy wazy man. Did we say fazy wazy wazy man? Did we say that? Huh? Tell me. Huh? Did we? Did we say fazy wazy wazy man? Huh? We did? Okay. Milo said what we did. All right, I'm not putting anything on top. Uh Groovy egg, you looking real, real, real cute. You're looking super cute. Nothing on top. 300 degrees, 15 seconds. 300 degrees, 15 seconds. Could I have printed larger from Leonardo? I could have printed larger from Word. I could have printed larger from Silhouette Studio. Ooh, it's dark. Are we going to see? That's how it looks so far. We're going to see. <laughs> Fazy, wazy, wazy, man. What movie did that come from? That came from a movie. I don't remember what movie it came from. Do I, Glenn? Some, I get told 
told that a lot. I guess I just realized people come in at different times. So put the powder on. Yes, let it melt. Fuzzy, wuzzy, where's that bear? Correct. Feeling the diversity? That's it. So I'm letting it cool off, right? I'm letting it cool off. This is looking really, really cute. Milo, do they want a shirt? Do they make shirts for dogs? You're looking really, really cute. All right, so now it's cooled down. I'm going to peel it off and put it put it back on the heat press and press it again with parchment paper. Parchment paper. I'm not even going to lie. I ain't even going to hold you. It's cute. All right. So now look, this is the size of, this is what's left, right? Since I peeled it off. But I feel like I could have printed bigger from Silhouette Studio. I really do. I really feel like I could have printed bigger from Silhouette Studio. But whatever. Parchment paper. Parchment. Not butcher paper. 300 degrees for 15 seconds. 300 degrees for 15 seconds. This was the one from Silhouette Studio. It's cute. See the glitter effect? See how cute that is? Let me bring it closer so you can see it. Marlo, we're not doing noises. Isn't that so cute? So cute. I love it. It's, it's prettier in person. It's prettier in person. It's so, it's very pretty. Let me, let me, let me make sure y'all can see the glitter because it's really pretty. Let me turn the light this way. Hold on. My love, we're not doing noises. We're not doing any noises. Okay. Are we doing noises? We're not doing noises. Do I like the noises? I don't. I don't like the noises. We're not doing any noises. Let me see if y'all can see it better like this. I know you can't. I'm not good at this, y'all. I'm not, I'm not good at this at all, but Trust me when I say the glitter is glittering. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It looks really, really good in, up close and in person. Okay. It's very cute. All right. So now let me key things I want you to know. Tired. Be quiet. Key things I want you to know. With this exact film that I'm using that I, I never ever keep up with. And y'all help me out if somebody's asking a question that I've already answered, okay? If y'all know the answer, please answer it. With this exact film, you can only go up to eight and a half by 11. However, they sell, Yamation sells this, their film in eight and a half by 14. Yamation sells their uh, regular clear DTF film in eight and a half by 14. I have not, and not that it doesn't exist, but I haven't seen it. I have not seen the gold or glitter or glow in the dark or any of the other options in eight and a half by 14. I personally have not seen it. Does that mean it doesn't exist? No, it might exist. I just don't know about it, okay? I ordered eight and a half by 14 Yamation for myself because 
I like the way it goes through the printer without needing anything additional. I didn't have to play around with it. Morgan, you're doing too much. Y'all, this is my daughter, Morgan, talking about Milo texted her. Did you text Morgan? You wanna see Morgan? Let me let her see, see Morgan. Um, I ordered the eight and a half by 14 because I like it. I like Yamation because it's thicker and I like it because it's a standard size. So typically with the um, DTF film, most of you know that the, the previous DTF film only came in that A3 and A4, which are not standard sizes in the US, right? We don't just be like, let me go get my A3 paper. Let me go get my A4 paper. We don't, we don't, we do letter and legal, right? So I think because it's the standard size that is typically going through that printer, you're not having a problem with it. That's just my opinion. I have been wrong before and I'm probably going to be wrong again. Just, I don't think I'm wrong on this. Let me get my note. Morgan want to say hi to my note. She want to say hi to my note. Come on. I'm bringing the chair down. Say hi to Morgan. Can say hi to Morgan? You want a treat treat? You gotta be super, super good. You gotta be super, super good. Good. It feels smooth. It feels smooth. I'll, I'll um, hold it up to the camera so you can get a look at it. You want to get a big one? You want a big one? You want to be super, super big? You got to be sitting. Are you sitting? Are you being very, very good? Okay. Beautiful. Okay. We don't know about a beautiful baby boy. Okay. All right. So what other questions do y'all have? How big of a print? How big of a print can you get with 2760? You can go up to eight and a half by 14. Eight and a half by 14. Okay. What other questions? $37.99. That one might have a, a coupon also, Diane Wilson. Somebody, she said there is eight and a half by 14. I ordered that yesterday. Um, I ordered that one yesterday. Does the print feel, does the glitter, the print and glitter feel smooth or rough? Okay, let's um, bring it up to the camera and put my hand inside. It feels smooth. You hear that? Yeah, Mason Glossy. Nana, I think that's a matter of personal preference, but I personally like Glossy better than matte. Okay. All right. So it feels smooth. It doesn't feel, if you're thinking like, does it feel like glitter vinyl? It doesn't. Okay. How did you flip the picture in Word? It's, it's flipped in my printer settings, princess. It's in my printer settings to mirror the image already. I went over that in that video where I demonstrated how to get to my printer settings. Okay. Glossy and matte. Now, I just... <laughs> Nana, did you hear my response? You're welcome, gorgeous Rose. Nana, did you just type it twice because you just like to type or you 
practicing your typing skills or what were we doing? Could you make a lot of, you can make a lot of distress prints that print on grays. Oh, that's true, Linda Lee, I agree. What is the shelf life? Um, Kawanda, I would say, I don't think it expires. I mean, I just keep mine closed up. I don't think it has an expiration. It doesn't, it doesn't say. You can't do what? What kind of printer do you have that you can't mirror? Okay. So we went over materials. I showed you how to print from Silhouette Studio. I told you that if you use Silhouette Studio, you can use the free edition to print. You can print as big as your film. When you first go into Silhouette Studio, you set up your paper the same size as the film you're using. If you're using eight and a half by 11, then your page size should be eight and a half by 11. If your image is wide, then you should use your paper in landscape mode. Um, if you're going to use the gold film like this, I suggest that you don't use it on any other color fabric than white. I think it looks best on white. When I showed you what it looked like on the purple shirt, the purple like soaked up that gold and it just didn't, it didn't come out nice at all. Uh, yes, you did, Sheila. Okay. Um, I demonstrated how to print from Microsoft Word. Um, I showed you how the film goes in with no problem. I think the animation works better. You can tell that it's going to go through with no problem. It's thicker and it's standard size film. Um, I don't think the, the brand of powder matters, but Yamation makes powder if you want to just like, well, I'm using Yamation film, so I want to use Yamation powder. If you want to do that, you can. I do suggest using, keeping the powder closed up when you're not going to use it. Some people just keep theirs just in the container that it comes in because this does come with the scoop inside. You pour it on, shake it, and then, you know, put it back. I press mine on 300 degrees for 15 seconds, let it cool, and I press again. But if you're using a different brand of film, follow the directions from the film you're using. I'm using the directions from the animation film. Okay, I demonstrated how to hover if you don't have a heat press like that. Um, I think I went over everything unless there's something that I missed. Hopefully, you know, you, you got it all. I left the link for the uh, printer setting so you can get your colors right. You can get your printer set up so you never, ever have to like set it up again. I, I, link, I left the link for that video. Um, and that is that on that, okay? Once you heat it, right after you put the powder on, does it feel smooth? Once you heat, yes, it does, but pressing it that second time, that's a very good question, T. John. Um, once you press it that second time with the parchment paper, that to me, that's what seals the deal, okay? Even this, this on my hoodie right here, this is DTF. This is a DTF transfer, okay? Thank you, Phyllis. Okay. All right, just got on one. Thank you, Ms. Sean. I mean, thank you, V. Moore. Okay, thank you all so much. If there's something that I missed, please leave it in the um, comments below. Let's do a giveaway on these shirts and uh, we're gonna get out of here, but let's do the, let's check the goal first because I don't want y'all to leave without checking the goal to see if we accomplish the goal. And Morgan, I'm gonna call you when I'm finished because I have a feeling that she misses her mother and that's why she's on here because why else would she be on here, honey? Okay, thank you, Liz. Did we accomplish our goal to learn how to do the sublimation DTL hack? Did we accomplish the goal? Did we accomplish the goal? Did we accomplish the goal? Okay, perfect. All right, let's do a giveaway. Um, no, I, I'm going to say my say before we do the giveaway. Y'all going to hear what I got to say about road rage. Y'all, road rage, don't do it. 
even if you get angry, even if the person cuts you off, even if they go in front of you with no blinker, please just ignore them. Please just turn the music up in your car. You need to get where you're going. Your goal when you leave your house is to get back to your house. Your goal is not to go out and see you, how many people you can argue with in the, on the street. Like, let me go out here and see how many people I can argue with. You don't need to argue with nobody, okay? Go out, go wherever you're going, come back to your house. Your goal when you leave your house should be to get back to your house. If you go out and you leave your house and somebody's already having a bad day and they just want to have road rage with somebody and they've chosen you, you don't choose them back. Just let them choose you. You don't choose them. So if they go in front of you with no blinker, let them go. Just tell yourself, oh, their blinker isn't working. If they honk at you, let them honk. Maybe there is the honk of love, okay? They're honking because they just love me so much, okay? You tell yourself, they have to use the bathroom and I'm in the way. And that's why they're doing that stuff, okay? Just do not engage in road rage. People are going through stuff and for the most part, they take it out on the road. They don't want to take it out on their family. They don't want to take it out on their employer. They don't want to take it out at work. They take it out when they get on the road. They want to yell. They want to cuss. They want to get people the right finger of fellowship. You don't need the right finger of fellowship. No fingers, no neck, no nothing. Get in your car, go where you're going, get back home. Okay? All right. All right. Let's do the giveaway. You're typing in logo three. Logo three. Logo three. Oh, we're not. Well, let's not do logo three. We're going to do white. Just type in uh, white. That'll be for the white shirt. White. Just type white. And that'll be for the white shirt. Let me uh, share my screen. Share screen. Giveaway. Share. We're giving away this white shirt. This is a large heavy cotton white it's a large heavy cotton white it's a large heavy cotton white is this one i'm gonna do the white shirt as a real cute okay white shirt all right five four Three. You have to be in the United States. Two. One. Let me go to my. Uh, where is the giveaway? Draw. Let's see. L. Thomas. Congratulations to L. Thomas. L. Thomas. Email me at craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. Craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. Send me your mailing address and I will get this put in the mail for you. Now type in gray. We're doing the gray shirt. Gray. Gray. G-R-A-Y. Gray. G-R-A-Y. Gray. G-R-A-Y. Gray. You have to be in the United States. You have to be in the United States. The word is gray, G-R-A-Y. This is a large, heavy cotton gilding shirt. And this one has the glitter uh, DTF on it. Gray. Gray. You have to be in the United States. You have to be in the United States. You have to be in the United States. Five. Four, three, two, one. Yvonne Hudson. Congratulations to Yvonne Hudson. Congratulations to Yvonne Hudson. Email me at craftingwithdelanda at gmail.com. Send me your mailing address and I will get it sent out to you. We will do one more logo. It'll look like this. Uh, I enjoy crafting with Delanda. You're going to do logo three. Logo three. Logo three. Like this. Logo three. Like that. 
logo three, logo three, logo three, logo three, like that, logo three, logo three, logo three, logo three. Logo three, logo three, logo three. Logo three, logo three. Logo three, five, four, three, two, one. Logo three. We're not doing noises. Princess Pearlita Broyles. Princess, are you in the United States? I hope so. Princess Pearlita Broyles, are you in the United States? I want to say I don't remember you being in the United States. I might be wrong. Are you in the United States? Princess, are you in the United States? If you're not, then. You are in the United Okay, perfect. All right. All right. So. Y'all, thank y'all so much for joining me. Let me show you what I made for tomorrow for uh, Romeo Wednesday. I've already made it. The tutorial will be out tomorrow at 5 p.m. If you're still here, you want to see what I've already made. Oh my God, let's go get this shirt. We're going to go get this shirt. Let them see it. It's so super, super cute. We made it with our Romeo. It's coming out tomorrow at 5 p.m. for Romeo Wednesday. I will not be live, but this is what I made. And I demonstrated the process with my Caesar Romeo. Okay, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. It is super, super cute. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Hopefully you found everything helpful. I really do appreciate you spending your time with me. Um, I, it, to me, it's more precious than gold. Okay, thank you very much. Hopefully you learned something. And, um, you know, watch out for that scammer. He has stepped on the lights. We, it's okay. All right. Um, uh, thank y'all again, like I said, and if nobody has told you they love you today, I love you. Thank y'all so much. Okay. When you say bye to the people, get in the chair and say bye to the people. Get in the chair. Come. Say bye to the people. All right. You turn off the lights. You stepped on the lights and turned them off. Okay. We say bye to the people. Okay. Bye, y'all. You say bye to the people? Bye. Okay. You say bye to the people.